Science. Last month was the hottest February ever recorded. Attributed to human-caused global warming, this is a constant trend and consequences can be seen worldwide. In New Zealand, for instance, the Fox and Franz Josef glaciers have been melting so rapidly that it's become too dangerous for tourists to hike onto them, ending a tradition that dates back a century. So in 2008, when I arrived here in French, uh, Joseph, the glacier would have been covering this rock and uh, would be quite a few metres, say 10 or 20 metres probably, uh, even more than that, above my head here, so I'd be sitting under a bunch of ice. But, but it's also um, like, I guess, a, a loaf of bread that's sort of shrinking in, a, in, a, in its tin. It's sort of gone down quite a lot as well, so it's, it's, it's wasted away in terms of its uh, thickness. And, um, and that's led to, I guess, quite a rapid sort of a melt. The melting has accelerated in recent years. The glaciers slide and roll down the mountain at a rate of four metres each day, picking up rocks and debris along the way. The same phenomenon is being observed elsewhere on the planet. So we know that glaciers around the world, including like the Fox and Franz Joseph glaciers, are responding to that warmer temperature and they're retreating. Um, and then sort of superimposed on that, we've got these shorter time frames where regional sort of weather um, can sort of create some variability in that. But definitely the long-term picture, the overall large-scale retreat, if we're thinking from the 1800s to now, is being driven um, by temperature change. According to a new study published in the journal Nature Climate Change, the estimated number of coastal dwellers in the US affected by rising sea levels is three times higher than previously projected. It says more than 13 million people could face flooding by the end of this century. A scenario which is already underway. The Bilosi Chitimaka Choctawa, a small Native American community in coastal Louisiana, is to be resettled after losing nearly all its land. This is the first time in the United States that an entire community has had to be relocated because of rising sea levels. I think uh, we need to take this study forward by uh, uh, doing another study of what is the impact of sea level rise right now uh, in terms of you know, frequent coastal flooding. This basically, uh, you know, give the policymakers some food for uh, food for thought to you know basically come up with mitigation plan uh, you know uh, building infrastructures and basically you know educating people uh, raising awareness you know uh, so uh, and all those things together among the densely populated coastal areas in the US Florida faces the greatest risk with three counties facing the displacement of up to 80% of their population on the 19th of March, the lights of worldwide iconic monuments and buildings like the Eiffel Tower, the Empire State Building and the Kremlin were switched off for five minutes to celebrate Earth Hour, an international event intended to raise awareness of climate change. At the Paris Climate Talks in December, governments agreed to limit global temperature rise to well below two degrees Celsius. World leaders will have to confirm their commitment to tackle global warming by signing the Paris Climate Agreement at a ceremony in April at the United Nations.